Thank you for taking the time to learn more about Hagar. Hagar's work inspires me every day because I know that we make a real difference in the lives of people who have experienced extreme human rights abuses in some of the most challenging places in the world. The story of Hagar and Ishmael is the story of millions of exploited, abused and trafficked people around the world today. Hagar lived around 2000 BC. She was a domestic servant living in a foreign land in the home of a powerful man, Abraham and his wife Sarah. When Sarah was unable to bear a child, she gave Hagar to Abraham. However, when Hagar became pregnant, Sarah became jealous and threw her out of their home. An angel found Hagar in the desert, alone and destitute. The angel promised a blessing upon her child and named him Ishmael, which means God hears. In response, Hagar declared, you are the one who sees me. The story of Hagar and Ishmael can be found in the teachings of Christianity, Islam and Judaism. It is the story that inspires Hagar's work. As an organisation, we seek to give sanctuary and refuge to women and children like Hagar and Ishmael and walk alongside them in their journey to wholeness. Hagar's vision is for communities that are healed and whole from the trauma of slavery, trafficking and abuse. We work intensively at an individual level with people to heal them from their trauma. At a programmatic level, we work with organisations to build their capabilities. And at a broader systemic level, we work with others to end the practices of slavery, trafficking and abuse. Recently, we received a call about a girl in need of our services. Danette was, at the time, was in the Cambodian embassy in China. Six months prior to that, she'd been working in a factory in Phnom Penh where she was approached by a broker. The broker convinced her to go to China on the promise of a better life, better working conditions, better living conditions, more money for her to be able to send home to her family. When she arrived in China, her passport was taken off her and Danette was sold into a marriage where she was extremely physically and sexually abused. She is now back here in Phnom Penh and Hagar is working to support her. We have ensured that she has a safe place to live. She is receiving trauma-informed counselling. She has an opportunity to catch up on her education and we will work with her to make sure that she has a decent job. Thank you for supporting Hagar. I have been supporting Hagar for many years, both personally and professionally. I made the decision to move to Phnom Penh after much reflection with my husband and children. It has been a big change for my family. I made this decision on the basis of first-hand experience of the fabulous work that Hagar does and my personal passion for trauma-informed care and the transformative capacity it has, I know, for women and children's lives. It is only in partnership with you that we are able to do this incredibly important work. Thank you for being a generous supporter of Hagar. It is only in partnership with you that I know that next time we receive a call about someone like Danette, Hagar or Ishmael, that we will be able to confidently say, yes, Hagar can help.